Hey everybody, this is Crustle Snapdragon back again with another Discord Bot Maker tutorial. In the first video, I showed you how to set up the bot application and connect it into Discord Bot Maker. That bot I deleted, so don't think about stealing my client ID. And I created another one called the Snappy Bot. And then we created a new project that already populated the project with pre made moderation commands. Now we're going to create the ability to set our bot game. I'm going to show you how to make a command to see the number of Discord servers your bot is in and how many people have access to your bot. So these are pretty easy. To begin, I just first want to show you guys this link here for Discord Bot Maker Mods. You're going to want to install this into your Discord Bot Maker folder. I'll give you this link in the info panel below. It shows you how to install these modifications. Just follow it verbatim. It's very easy. And you do want to have this installed as well as be opted into the beta. I showed you how to opt into the beta in the previous video. So we're going to go to create new command, set bot game. We're going to change the command restriction to bot owner only. And if you remember in the settings in the last video, we populated a bot owner ID that we got from Discord. That's going to mean that the bot owner, whose ID that is, is the only person who can trigger the set bot game command. And then we're going to put it on user required permissions as administrator. And then we're just going to hit create. Now, when we hit send message, now you see a list of things that you can make the bot maker do. We're going to go to bot client control and if you opted into the beta and you downloaded those discord bot maker modifications, you'll see all of this here under bot client control. You're going to go to set bot game and I'm just going to type, type exclamation help for commands list. You can also populate your Twitch stream link here. So we're going to create that action. Okay. Bot game is good. Now the next two things we're going to do is we're going to set up a command for bot guilds count and bot guilds members. This one you're not going to have to do manually because it requires script, which I've already done for you. So I'm going to give you this link. This is my GitHub repository and I have a few things in here for the discord bot maker already and you just install them as raw data. So you're going to go to bot guilds count here. You're going to copy the raw data, go back to Discord Bot Maker, go to create new command. You're going to right click it, edit raw data, and just paste. And it already populates everything for you, including the command restriction, the permission, and the actions. We're going to do the same thing for Bot Guilds members. And now you have bot guild members here. And again, bot guilds count shows you how many discord servers your bot is in guild members shows you how many people have access to your bot. Now there are a few more moderation commands. I do want to add, and I have them here as well. We want to add clear so that you can clear the chat. So you're just going to come in. You're going to copy the raw data, create new command edit raw data, paste it, and now it populates everything for clearing the messages. You do have to specify the number of messages to clear in the channel. Make sure it has the server only role. So you may have to change the command restriction here. And then what I want to do is go grab one more mod command. We're going to grab a warn command. So you just want to copy the raw data, create new command, right click, paste. Make sure it has server only and is set to the correct permission here, which is manage nicknames. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to test it. We're going to run the project. When it's dark blue, that means the bot is online. We're going to set bot game, playing type exclamation help for commands. We're going to go to bot guilds count. It's in one server. Bot guild members. This is how many people currently have access to the bot. We're going to try clear five messages. 
And then if we were to warn somebody, you'd do forward slash warn and then the name of the person you would like to warn. Same for kick, ban, mute, and unmute. And that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful with the basic utility commands. The next video is going to show you events such as a welcome event, which is basically something that happens automatically when a command is triggered. So if someone enters a Discord, a welcome message will automatically spawn. That's called an event. All right. Thanks so much for watching.